Hey guys, how's it going? This is Instafiz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Terraria or any other game that has controller support with an Xbox One controller on your Mac. So the first thing you're going to want to do, before I'm going to do this before I show you the supplies that you're going to need. First, you're going to need to go over here, and um, yeah, I'm going to leave this in the description. It says 360 controllers, but this does work with an Xbox One controller, trust me. It'll work with the 360 controller, I guess, but this will work with an Xbox One controller. So once you're over this link, once again, I'm going to leave it in the description. You're going to want to download this 360 controller install underscore 0.16.5.dmg. So you're going to, um, you're going to download that and then you're going to open it. You're gonna go to Finder, and then you're gonna go to Downloads, and then you're gonna open this. Then, it's gonna verify, so you're gonna have to follow my lead on this. And then you're gonna wanna open this. Now, what's gonna be next is you just have to keep clicking this button. So like, you have to keep going on, and keep going on. And keep going on click agree and you have to install now here it's gonna ask you for your username and password and so like in case sometimes you don't have to do it depends on the settings for your computer but you'll have to type in the username and password for your Mac and um, however I already have it installed and if I go ahead and go with this then it's gonna restart the computer and I already have my and I already have it installed so yeah just install it type in your password and stuff then your computer is gonna restart with it installed and then you're gonna want to open system preferences which is down here it's also gonna be in the top left corner if you click on the Apple and then press um system preferences I have the Apple the top bar cut out for personal reasons or you could just click down here, and then you're gonna see this icon. You're gonna see this new icon. And ta-da! Now, next, I'm going to show you the supplies that you need for this to work. Okay, so next, I'm gonna list the supplies you need. First, you obviously need your Xbox One slash 360 controller. Now, this is very important. Only plain Xbox One 360 Xbox One or 360 controllers will work. I'm just gonna say one more time, only plain controllers will work. Like, it's not gonna work if you any have any special colors. You can try, but that's from what I've tested so far. Like, you can try and prove me wrong in the comments, so. Next, you're gonna need a micro USB to micro USB cable, and this is what they look like. So you can see right here, that's what the end has to look like. So yeah, a U mini USB to micro USB cable. Now, this, this is some very important thing I have to say. Only charge and data cables will work. Like, generally, um, a data and charge cable is generally thicker. So like, let me show you an example. This is not going to work. Like, I've already tested. This cable is not going to work, but this is going to work. You can tell that it's a data and charge cable because it's thicker. Now this is a charge only cable, so it's not going to work because it's thinner. So once again, this is going to work. This isn't going to work because this is thicker, so that means it's charge and data, but this is charge only. So we're gonna use this one. You gotta make sure that you're using a charge and data cable. Next, you're gonna plug it in like that, okay? And then you're going to take this end and plug it into your computer. Do you have your plain Xbox One or plain Xbox 360 controller? Do you have your charge and data USB to micro USB cable? Did you plug it into your computer? If your computer doesn't have a USB slot, then you may need an adapter. 
like me. Like, um, my computer is a little small, so I needed an adapter, a USB to USB-C adapter. But if you, if your computer already has a USB slot, then you're not gonna need an adapter. So, now that you plugged it in, um, it'll work. Like, if you just, you can move it around and test the buttons on here. Like, I'm pressing the home button right now, I'm pressing the X button right now. A, B, Y. Moving both joysticks. Pressing the... Yeah. It's just gonna work. Now, what you're gonna need to do is open up Terraria or the other game that you wanna play. Okay, so now you have to have Terraria open. Or the game that you want to play with the controller on your Mac. But I'm just gonna use Terraria. Unfortunately, I'm in T mod loader right now. So that means, um, controller isn't gonna work. However, if you're in vanilla Terraria, then this will work, trust me. Now, you're gonna have to go over to controls, key bindings. And yeah, just go over to... The cut the controller. Now, there's certain prefixes, like custom. Red digits fix, the creator of the game. Your eyes are fixed, who oh, I forgot what their role is, sorry. And then, you've got prefixes for the console versions of the game, like, set it to console Xbox, and then you'll have the controls that are set for the Xbox One version of the game automatically set to here. So then you're just gonna hop into a world and enjoy Terraria. Or you can just set the controls however you want. Once again, I'm in Team Mod Loader right now, but this will work in vanilla Terraria. It's just not gonna work with Team Mod Loader. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make an updated tutorial. I touched on this a while ago. It was a kind of rush because I was on vacation when I made the video back then. So here I am. I can make an awesome tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like if this helped. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.